morning angels it's the 20th of June I am driving to one of our awesome consultants houses to talk to her about one of our first events she's gonna be doing by herself which is so awesome and um, just a thought came into my mind that I wanted to make sure that I got on video for you so I don't forget about it anyways I have my best thoughts when I'm driving <laughs> anyways um one of the best things about our business today in uh, 2014 is the technology that we have, um, hence this video. And we, the majority of us have smartphones, right? And even if we don't have a smartphone, we have a calendar in our phone that has the feature of reminders, okay? So one thing that works really well and that I suggest to everybody about everything is to not only the second you schedule something, um, we all think, oh, I'll remember. Well, as your business starts going and the more people you meet and the more things that you are scheduling in your calendar, there are gonna be um, little tiny tasks that you forget to, that happens because you scheduled it two weeks ago and now the two weeks went by and you're like, didn't I have something to do today? You know, so the second you make an appointment with anything, even if it's just to make a phone call or to you know, file something in a certain filing cabinet or whatever you think it may be, put it in your calendar and set at least two reminders if possible. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about, which is so important, we all know that the fortune is in the follow-up, right, with your business, whether it's to, for somebody to buy, host, or join. So, what needs to happen is for you to put a reminder in your phone when you are going to follow up with that person. Now, when you have a party and you have a handful of people that have purchased from you um, at your party, automatically put a phone, schedule an appointment for yourself in your calendar of when you're going to follow up with those customers. Now, I suggest about a week after your, or your party, so, and you've already delivered it, a week after you've delivered it, and just to call and say, hey, I just wanna let you know I'm so grateful for your business. Wanted to see how um, you're liking the uh, product and if you have any questions and um, you know, maybe you'll have a chance to educate them a little bit more. Then, after that appointment, it feels so awesome when you get to check it off your list and be like, oh, I contacted that person. They heard from me. You've touched them. Okay, so then nobody can say, um, I bought this stuff and then I never heard from the person again. Okay, that happens far too often. I'm gonna admit to you, it's happened probably with me a lot because before I developed a system, you know, there you just never know. Time goes by, you get busy, all these new customers come in your life and you're just trying to handle them, right? And they just slip through the cracks. Sad, right? But it's the truth. So we don't want that to happen because that is, that is established business that is far too valuable to lose. So, deliver your products a week later you deliver your product, set your calendar to, and with reminders to contact those people and thank them for their business and see how they're doing and how they like their product. And if there's anything else that you can answer for them as far as questions. Then after that, that date is accomplished, check. Then you set another reminder. Look at your order form and see what they ordered. If they ordered any layers products, that is about a four to six weeks turnaround if they are using their product consistently, which they should be because you know our product's amazing. Anyways, then you want to make sure you contact them within that four to six weeks period. If they ordered bars, see how many bars they ordered. If they ordered just one, then you know that you're gonna be contacting them in about, um, if they do even one cube a day, you know, eight, eight hours, you're gonna be contacting them by the end of the month, right, at least. If they did a three pack, then it's going to be a little bit longer. But the max, if they'd like a six pack, you want to make sure no matter what that you touch base with them at least at the um, six to eight week period just to touch them to say, hey, I know I just want to let you know I'm here. If there's anything because you never know just because they're not ready for more. They may have a, a gift giving purpose around the corner and they just haven't had a chance to get to you to say, hey, I need to place this order because my grandmother's birthday is in two weeks. So it's our job to connect with them, to follow up, not theirs. Yes, our labels are all over our products, which they should be. Nothing leaves your house without a, um, a label. But it's still not their job to pick up the warmer and look at where your phone number is. You're very lucky if these people do that. but And, and they will 
once they establish a relationship, once they are loyal to you, but it's going to take a while, especially if you don't know them from Adam. So you need to do your part. You need to show them why they should trust you, why they should respect you, why they should support your business. And it's going to take a while, just like any other person. It takes a while to gain trust in a friendship and create that relationship. It's the same thing with your business. So put in the work and I promise you, your customers will be loyal to you. And eventually you will have customers calling you and saying, Hey Jess, it's time for me to get my, um, I need some more bars. Just happened to last night. Got a text message. Need a six pack. Um, I do that. I have customers that are, you know, consistent with me and loyal to me and I'm loyal to them. So in, in turn, they make my life easier. They make my business easier and they connect with me before I even have a chance to connect with them. But you've got to put the work in. You have to show them that you are committed and you are willing to work for them. Okay? Calendar, the second you set anything, schedule it in your calendar with two reminders and make sure that that gets done that week. I don't care if it has to get pushed off another day or another couple hours when you planned it. It needs to be diminished within that week because I promise you, if you don't diminish it that week, they will slip through the cracks and you'll never touch them. You will never follow up with them. And maybe you will, but it'll be too late. They've already bought from somebody else or they've already went to Walmart and bought the cheap stuff that we know has not, uh, cannot compare to our products. We don't want that to happen, right? That is a bad sign of customer service if your customer says, sorry, I already bought from Walmart or Bath and Body Works or where all those other places are. Um, that means you need to step up your customer service. Sorry, but it's the truth. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Um, follow up Friday, guys. It's follow up Friday. Follow up with those, those customers, hostesses, and potential consultants. We only have about a week and a half left of the join in June. So don't uh, miss out or let them miss out on this great opportunity. That's not fair to them. If they don't know it's there for them, of course they're not going to join, right? But if they're aware, then the ball's in their court and you've done your part. Have a great day. Bye-bye.